my god. <clears throat> All right. Mm, well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Boop, this way. Uh, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, I got another full on action packed. Pa literally packed with action vlog. For anybody watching on the replay, all of the timestamps are gonna be down below. I already saw him in the chat. He's right there, my main man, Jeremy V. He's gonna have all those timestamps in the first pinned comment right underneath this video. But uh, let's do a welcome, you guys, welcome. Let's do a quick little rundown here. Let me get that rundown, Jim. I got, uh, we're gonna talk about what I've been vaping because the amount of things on my desk has become too much. Literally, just way too much, way too much. I need you to tell me, I need you guys to tell me to slow down, pump the brakes a little bit, Nick. Too much stuff on my desk. Um, beer, check for sure. Uh, I got some mail as well. I got one big DHL package and it seems like there's some uh, patron mail. Patreons sending me mail. I love the crap out of it. So we're going to be opening up some of that. Of course, we're going to have some news and advocacy sprinkled in there. We're going to be talking about Canada uh, Canada. Yeah. We're going to be talking about Canada and their lung association and how it's gone completely crazy off the rails. We're also going to be talking about herbal cigarettes. What? That's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. You might remember those from the early nineties, herbal cigarettes. We're going to be talking about that a little bit. I got, uh, I got getting to know Grim Green. Uh, I have uh, a liquid tasting. I don't know why I can't think of anything. I got a retro box. We got retro box number eight. Eight tonight, retro box number. I don't know, how do people do it? I do it like this. Do it like this feels so weird. Eight, retro box number eight tonight, you guys. In fact, I thought that today we were going to be finally down all the way down to the tackle box, but we're not. We're not even close. I have two more boxes before we even get to the tackle box. And it's fun, you know, I was thinking. I was thinking back to all of these retro vape boxes that we've been doing, you know, over the last few weeks here on the vlog. And I'm thinking, man, there's got to be more because I am legitimately missing a lot of devices and toppers and stuff like that, that I know that I have. I know I have it. I just can't find it anywhere. Thankfully, I found some boxes. I found two more boxes. <laughs> I peeked inside. I peeked inside just a little bit, but for it's going to be a surprise. But uh, yeah, welcome you guys. One more time, welcome you guys. What's that in the chat? Sam, the vaping bogan, asked if you want to cross his stream together for a few minutes. I I wouldn't even know. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to begin to even attempt to do that. But I appreciate the offer, Sam. Look, we can cross streams. We can cross streams another time. I think we can cross streams another time. I guess how we're going to kick this vlog off today is uh, we're going to do my, that thing. That's my favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. I finally got some videos flowing in regularly. If anybody else out there has a video similar to Kevin's, which we're going to watch in just one second, you can send them on over to me, Nick at GrimGreen.com. Just pick up your smartphone say a bunch of gibberish, whatever, it can be literally anything, shout your shop out, just get on there and say, hey, this, this is my favorite liquid and I love it and I vape and I smoke for 40 years. Can be anything, can be literally anything. Send them on over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. But right now, I wanna talk, Kevin, Kevin's doing good work. I, I like Kevin, Kevin's being an advocate in his shop. So what say you, Kevin? Hey, Grim. This is Darth Vapor just, yeah. over in Vaporville, um, catching up on the news. Um, got inspired the other day to try to digest everything on the Grim Green website and display it in the store so that way everyone can kind of get a feel for it. I made this little poster board. Got GrimGreen.com. What's the news, Robin? Aren't vapes killing people? Master settlement agreement information, popcorn lung information, and it's got a lot of a lot of people talking about vaping, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I uh, just want to shout you out, shout out my shop. Uh, thanks for my wife uh, for supporting me, and uh, yeah, let's keep on vaping. Yes. Kevin, we're shouting you out. We're shouting your wife out. We're shouting your shop out. That, 
My friends, that's what local vape shop advocacy looks like. Kevin took it upon himself to study and research all of these like papers and articles and he put them on like, you know, like a bulletin bo board, poster board to like help educate the consumers in his store, like the, the people that come into his store with QR codes. So you could just boop, just scan a QR code and be, oh, that's what the master settlement agreement is all about. Huh? Wow. I had no idea. Awesome. I love this, Kevin. You're, you're my, you're my favorite. You're my subscriber of the month of the month. Sure. November. It's Kevin from Darth Vapor for being such a good advocate. I appreciate the kind words. And like I said, if anybody else out there has a video similar to Kevin's that you want to see featured on this here vlog program, you can send it on over to me, Nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark it that one thing, right? Green eyed lady. Good work, Kevin. Good work, Kevin. I also Want, there's a couple random things I'm going to throw out there right now that kind of fall into that, like my favorite thing where like I hear from some of my subscribers. I have a, uh, I have an email here from, uh, from Carl and I wanted to read Carl's email and he hit me up and said, Hey Nick, I know I've emailed you before about my father who passed away due to COVID-19. You gave him a shout out on a previous vlog and I was very grateful. It meant a lot to me to know that there are people in this world as nice as you to go out of your way to make someone's day. Listen, I'm not extraordinary. I, that's just the least that I could do for you, uh, especially through this rough time. This Friday, October 9th would have been his 67th birthday. I miss him so much every day and I wish he was still here. He used to watch the vlogs with me every Thursday and your other content as well. And that's how he really decided to get into vaping. And I bought him his first device, a Joytech Evic VT with an Atlantis tank. The past few weeks has been rough. We found out my dad made the ultimate decision to refuse treatment because he had a blood clot due to COVID. It was in his lungs and he went to his heart and caused his heart to stop. It was that bad. He didn't want to just pass away in the hospital with no one, no one by his side. He decided to come home so that he can be with us. I was wondering if you can give a birthday shout out to my dad, Carl. Hopefully he can see this from heaven and know I'm thinking about him every day and that he will always be remembered for the guy that he was. He was my best friend in life and I want him to know that. Dad, I love you. Keep on vaping. Thanks, Nick. You truly are an inspiration. Remember, vaping is better than smoking, but so what? and stay hydrated. Your longtime subscriber, Carl. Yeah, Carl, I'm sending you, your dad, a, a very happy birthday. We're sending the dad love to Carl. We're also going to give some love to Matt Sinister. Bro, I, I love you. I'm glad you're here tonight. Thank you for the super chat. I'm going to read those when we get to the super chats. But our very own Matt Sinister, he's been having a rough time. We need to send him, uh, we need to send him a uh, little bit of love as well. Matt Sinister, Matt Sinister. And then I had like, I had these two other random things. Like sometimes I just get sent weird things and I have no real place to like share them or anything. So I just wanted to share a fellow named John. He's like, Hey, I got bored one night and I did this. And I was like, oh, okay, what is it? This. <laughs> All right. Look, if you want to take the time out of your day to Photoshop me with blue glasses on and then a big gigantic fat joint hanging out of my mouth. Look, you're more than welcome to. It's your time. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your time. I have a, I have a massive stash of like Photoshops of Grim Green that I've just kept over the years. Like when someone turned my old office all pink, did anybody see that? Turned it all pink hung like Disney posters on the wall. Like it was like the little mermaid and sleeping beauty and Pocahontas all over my walls and pink walls. It was hilarious. Maybe I should share a couple more of those. And then I got, and finally got Kane a few, uh, this was like months ago when I stepped away and I said, here, feel free to take a screenshot so you can use it in your, in your zoom background. Boom. That's what Kane does. Kane's like, Hey bro, I use your background for my zoom meetings. I love it. I think it's hilarious. So she, Thank you, Kane. Shout out, shout out to you, Kane. Appreciate you. So yeah, that's my favorite thing. That's my new favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. But uh, yeah, we're sending love to Carl, Carl Pop, Carl's Pop. We're sending love to Matt Sinister and Matt Sinister's Pop. And uh, we're just trying to be there for each other right now. You know, 2020 has just been uh, the worst. I mean, the worst. It's, it's kind of been the worst. And well, honestly, without you guys, uh, without this community, 
I'd be in a much worse place than I am, but thankfully I get to come. Uh, you made that pink Disney one, Michelle Lynn. Holy shit. Thankfully I get to come here every Thursday and sort of uh, fellowship and we can kind of help each other out, build each other up and uh, you know, just be the best people we can be. So that's that. What I'm going to do real quickly before we get into some super chats, because I'm going to need some sort of beverage, you know, for the rest of the vlog, I think it's time to taste some beer. I think this beer bumper is too long, but I'm going to roll it anyway. That's just too long. That's just too long of a bumper. Hey, it could become an entirely new segment, Barbara Burgess. So today's beer is a testament to my terrible memory. This is what we're going to be tasting today. This comes from uh, Mexca, M-E-X-C-A, Mexca Brewing Company. This is the West Coast Hazy IPA that we got in the vlog not that long ago. This was like a week, two weeks ago. All I wrote on the bottom to identify this was TV, TV, TV gave me this. Now I don't remember who TV's name is. And I remember in, I have a memory of opening these in the vlog and thinking I need to label these so I know who they came from. So I'll just write this person's initials on the bottom. But I guess at the time I didn't realize that their initials were just TV, TV. So TV, if you're here tonight, thank you. Thank you for this West Coast Hazy IPA. Looks like the 7.6% uh, yeah, ABV. So should still be a, a good, flaunt, good fun vlog. You know, it's not a 10 percenter like uh, not the real Gerard Butler likes to send over. I'm drinking this tonight out of the, uh, out of the Casey family uh, New York Jets glass. I always feel like I have really good vlogs and I'm not superstitious. But I am a little stitious, like Michael Scott, and uh, I feel like I have better vlogs when we have the Jets mug. I don't know how. Apparently, they're quite the team that loses quite frequently and oftenly. So I don't know how it helps improve the vlog, but it does. I don't know. I can't explain it. It just does. So let's have a taste of this juicy West Coast IPA. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Yeah. It's delicious. That's an incredible IPA. I'm an IPA guy now, I guess, and I just like IPAs. It's got like that, you know, like piney, hoppy IPA taste. It's got that like slight little bit of bitterness to it, but like, I don't know, in a good way. Like if there was a way to have good bitterness in a beer, this has some really good bitterness. I get some like I don't know. I always say the same thing about IPA. It's like, oh, upfront sweetness, that hoppy flavor. It's really hazy. It's kind of citrusy and like orange peel, like not the fruit, but the peel. That's what this is. I couldn't find. This is delicious. I couldn't find um, any information, any information about this beer anywhere on the Internet. The only place I saw it was on Untapped. And it's got one review and it's a three and a half bottle cap review. So I feel like that's pretty good. They didn't say anything. Just one person. Julio drank this at home and he gave it three and a half stars. Nick Green is drinking this at home. I'm going to give this, I don't know, three and a half banana stickers. Mm, I like the juicy citrusy like component to IPA, that, that sweetness, that's one of my favorite things. Now, let's try to vape this with some mango. Does this have, I think both of these. Yeah, these both got mango in them. Let's try a little bit with some mango, shall we? Hang on, <coughs> burp life. Yeah. I mean, that's delicious. Uh, mango goes with IPA. This, I swear this Omboy Mango is one of the best like IPA beer tasting like liquids that I've ever had. It's just, it's just perfect. They complement each other so well. So well, I want to do it again. And there's literally nothing you can do to stop me. Mm. I can pour it all over my face. That's fine. That's what Dixons are for, right? Anyway, 
Freaking delicious beer, freaking delicious liquid, freaking delicious everything. So I guess real quick, before we get to what I've been vaping, let's do a couple of these super chats that came in. That's it. That's all you get. We're going to be running long tonight. There's just no way around it. We're just going to be running long. So right out of the gate, Matt Sinister again. I, I love you, bro. He says, hey, Nick, I want to give a special shout out to all my vape fam. Uh, you've had my back with the loss of my father. Thank you all so much. Rest in peace, dad. Yes. Rest in peace. Matt Sinister. I love you, man. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, Zach, that's very gracious of you. I just want to tell you, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Airplane. I just want to tell you, good luck. We're all counting on you. Appreciate, appreciate that, Zach. Or should I say, who? wait, who was that guy? It wasn't Liam Neeson. I almost said Liam Neeson. Who's that? Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. Not Liam Neeson. Although you could picture Leslie Nielsen like in Taken, you know, like I think that would be hilarious. Sticks River Fairy. Appreciate you. Uh, Emily Conrad, my baby mama is the greatest. I, yes. I mean, I have, I don't know enough about her to argue with you. So I'm assuming you're right. Grim, you're cool too. Okay. That I do know. Thank you. Sticks River Fairy. Appreciate that. Suburban Dirt Farmer. Uh, bro, type two, bro, bro. Type two, it's uh, go get it if you want. I think it's, I think it's there. I think it's up. I think it's out. I think it's uh, uh. I think we're good. I think we're good and golden. Um, we opened it up to patrons yesterday. Uh, it might still be password protected, and if that's the case, then I can't tell you the password. But it's up. It's there. Go do it. We're going to talk about it a little bit in, as we get into the what I've been vaping here. Uh, it's Mama Janklin's birthday today. So happy birthday, Jamie's mom. And I'm not flirting with you. I'm not fucking with you this time, Nick. I know you're not flirting with me. A, that I don't want. I know you're not fucking with me. In fact, I have it on good authority that it is Michelle Dulltime Lynn birthday on the 28th. And I won't be vlogging next week because Thanksgiving. I just want to give you guys fair warning. No vlog next week because hashtag Thanksgiving, even though we can't celebrate Thanksgiving because, I don't know, we don't have any family in the area and no friends in the area and no kitchen to even cook it. So Thanksgiving is going to be a real bummer. So I'm taking Thanksgiving off so that I can just hang out with my wife and be bummed that we're not having real Thanksgiving. But I know that it's Michelle Lynn's birthday next week, 11... Is that it? Am I right, Michelle Lynn? It's the tw that's what you said, 28th, right? I hope you're right. 28th? Oh, yes, it's the 28th. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so I won't get a chance to do this. So to Frames Jenklin's mom <laughs> and to Michelle Lynn, here we go. Here we go, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Michelle Lynn Dull Diamond Frames Janklin's mama. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. How's it? I just started this vlog. I have like 19 text messages. Oh, you did the Dink Pink Disney one. All right, we'll share that next week. <laughs> we'll share that next week, uh, Michelle Lynn. Appreciate your super chat. Trey Watt ordered my very own black type 2 R today. I'm very excited. Try this RTA that has zero hype. That's right. Throw all the hype right out of your head. Just throw it out of your head, Trey Watt. You'll do fine. Joey, one year clean tomorrow. Holy shit, I love this. This is my favorite super chat, Joey. One year clean tomorrow. Thank you, Grim, for helping. Look, if I could have could help in any way, contribute to your one year clean. That is the biggest victory success ever, ever. That makes me feel God. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel good for you, Joey. It makes me feel good that I was even able to help out. And I don't even know how I helped. That's the thing. I don't know what I did, but I appreciate you being here, Joey. Congratulations. One year clean. Hell yeah, Joey. There's another in focus fist bump for you. Jim Shady. What up? Dixon's looking crispy. That's right. This is the gift. Uh, type two ordered and on the way soon. Yak is a god. Yak. Yak actually is a god. I haven't been this excited for a device in a long time. Thanks, Nick. Look, I hope you. I hope you enjoy it, Jim Shady. And then uh, Hamish. One more Hamish. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being you, Hamish. I appreciate you, man. So, uh, how's everybody doing? Now let's real quickly talk about what I've been vaping. Uh, nobody told me that this bumper music was so loud. Nobody, you guys didn't say anything. 
it comes on. I edit this into a podcast afterwards. And when I'm editing into a podcast, I came to this for the first time. And it was like, I had to just like throw my headphones off. I was like, oh my God, what the crap, Nick? Nobody said bub kiss. So now at a lower volume, it is what I've been vaping. What I've been vaping. Bub kiss. When was the last time you said bub kiss? been vaping. So I have, like I said, way too much stuff on my desk. And this is going to take the majority of the vlog. We're running long because of what I've been vaping. I've got my three billet boxes. You know them. You've seen them. You love them. It's Harold. Yeah. It's Harold with the truss on the inside. It's, 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 it's bluegrass with the something on the inside. That's right. Vape snail, pony on acid. And a dead battery. Holy cow, dead battery. I'm surprised that even vaped. And then I have Golden Boy with a, uh, I had to make an adjustment on Golden Boy. I had a boxer issue. And this is from a billet box peeps out there. But I had a boxer V2 inside of this device, inside of Golden Boy there. And I was just vaping it and loving it and vaping it and loving it. And then I set billet, I set Golden Boy down on my desk vertically, not on its side or anything, because I know it's an RDTA. And somehow, against all laws of nature and physics, it flooded. Um, the, the liquid was way down at the bottom. It was almost an empty tank. My wicks are way at the top, not even touching the liquid. And it somehow flooded, and I don't know how. It emptied the tank. It was like wicking through air. It was strange. I don't, I've never seen anything like it. I've never had that issue with an RDTA before of just continuously wicking to the point that it floods. But shit, that's what happened in my boxer. So I just got, you know, the original billet box bridge in there with an Aspire Nautilus mini coil head, uh, Halo 56, Halo Torque 56, and that's been amazing. What's also been amazing is this mother trucker from Method 1. This is my Sidefire guy with uh, that new Turk V2 on top. Pumpkin. Someone in the chat was asking if uh, Casey, my wife, stole all the pumpkin. She did not. I swiped it back from her uh, about two days later, and I uh, I cannot put it down. I like it so much, I'm going to vape it right now. I'm going to vape it right now with beer. Well, it doesn't do much for the beer, but uh, I cannot get enough of this e-liquid. And I just want to clarify, like, I, I don't, I don't, there's no like agreement or anything between me and me, me and Mike Turk over there. He's like, Hey, you want to try the pumpkin? I said, yeah, sure. And that's it. That's literally as far as it went. I'm not promoting it in any way. I know this video says it has a, a paid sponsorship in it. We'll get there when we hydrate. But there's no like money exchanging hands. I don't get any kickbacks. I don't get even get any like free liquid or anything. I'm just promoting it because it's G D amazing, and I think uh, I think you guys might really like it. Type two, sitting on top of that Argus GT with the Just Try It drip tip. I think mangoes inside of this. I kind of put mango in everything. Every new thing. I just, ah, mango. And now, pleasure vapes. This is the, these are my pleasure vapes that I've been pleasure vaping. My favorite pleasure vape in existence for the last two days. I think we set this up on the Patreon stream on Wednesday, you guys. It's the Odin 100 with the Type 2 RTA with the swaps, you know, stainless black, stainless black, stainless black, stainless black. And all the way up the mod, it's just, Stainless black, stainless black, stainless black, stainless black, stainless black, alternating, alternating. And I love this. I love this. It's filled up with a juice from Teardrip. Hang on. Got to do this. Got to do the fucking nicotine warning. Yeah, some of these products can contain nicotine if the user decides they want to add nicotine to them. They don't natively come with nicotine. Nicotine is kind of addictive. It's not nearly as addictive as people think it is but I still got to put this warning up here. Cool. All right, cool. This is from a company called Teardrip and it's called Paramel. And I only have a little bit left and I got it when I was in uh, NZ in New Zealand 
and I've been vaping it in the type two ever since. It's been great. This is a 0.11. This is a 0 0.10 at 55 watts. And the flavor is just banging on there. Anyway, that's like my favorite setup of all time now. And then lastly, I did a review for this last week. It's the Bonneville Recoil with Crisp on the inside from Sweden. Yeah, that's delicious. That's uh, that's still very delicious. And then kind of sitting over here on the sidelines, like ever since I moved my camera, I've changed how I do my desk. Sitting over here on the sidelines, it's like I got stuff like the Vupu Drag. That's been hanging around just because I like it. And I've been using this Argus Pro, and you can kind of, you know, swap the uh, the tanks back and forth. I got this uh, Inokin Chroma Z, the Chroma Z that, I don't know, it's, it's real cheap feeling. I don't know if this is actually going to get a review or not. I've been using that. I've been using this, the Vaporesso thing that I can't even remember the name of. I think Matt just uploaded his review, been underwhelmed by this i'm not sure if that's going to get a review or not this thing i think i showed you guys this last week the t-rex it just looks like a giant pod it's got a it's got a huge button on it and an auto switch and that's been like kind of honestly delightful but it's kind of been like over there on the edge like about to go into no man's land all of these are kind of in danger of going to no man's land hitta ink which look this should be over here because i love it so much hitta ink is moving off of uh off of the bench got that new k fun on the Hass tour and it's fine it's been vaping really good i it's just the new K Fun Light 2019, and I really need to dig into this to see what's going on in K Fun Land. Because as far as I can tell, with the exception of this little metal ring on top, it's a K Fun, and it vapes as you would expect a K Fun to. The weird thing that's been going through my head this whole time I've been vaping a K Fun is, I've been thinking I miss the Pioneer a little bit. Kind of miss that Pioneer. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my K Fun. I'm a K Fun fanboy, but damn it. My pioneers in the bathroom getting dismantled and re-wicked right now. Hmm. And I'm kind of missing it a little bit. So that's been hanging out over here. And then lastly, what's been hanging out over here is Jake Scrapwood. Don't worry, bro. This is never going anywhere. But what's on top is the Nest RDA. And it is the first and only mesh RDA that I actually, actually enjoy. It vapes really well. You can turn up the wattage. You can take really long hits. I think they did mesh correctly in this. And I think we're going to put that on a build stream really very soon. But that, my friends, is what I've been vaping. And it's been way too much. If I'm being really honest, it's been like two things. It's been this and it's been that mech with pumpkin. Those have been like my two main super jams. Black Knight Dave, that's fine. Go get whiskey. What are you telling me for? Just be your own man. Go get your own whiskey. I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Wait, it's Paul F's birthday too? Happy birthday to Paul F. Happy birthday to Paul F. Happy birthday to Paul F. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room. Skip around the room, Paul F. Damn it. So that's really more or less what I've been, uh, I've been vaping. And it's been a lot. And like I said, it just keeps piling up. It just keeps setting up new things. And finally today I broke down and like, went in my bathroom and just looked at like 10 RTAs. And it's like billet burrow tank, burrow tank, RTA, RDA, RTA, RDA. And I'm like, I don't want to wash or clean any of this. I don't. It's the least favorite thing. Cleaning vape gear to me has become like cleaning the kitchen. I know I'll feel better when it's done, but I hate it and I hate doing it. And so I procrastinate my vape cleanings. And it was just today that things got cleaned. And even looking on my desk, I'm like, wow, there's like 10 more things to clean. And then I have like 15 more things to set up because YouTube and things. So that's what I've been vaping. What I would like to do right now, seeing as we're only about a half hour into this, these scrap wood bonds are amazing. J D D D Jugga, these are amazing. These are incredible devices. He hand makes them one at a time, and he is a, a craftsman. He's a craftsmanship on this is amazing. Dude, that mesh RDA, it's not bad. 
Anyway, what I'm going to do right now besides have some more beer is let's just do the damn thing. Let's do some uh, let's do some news and advocacy. What say you? News and advocacy, yeah. I sang that intro in case anybody's curious, but uh, let's do some news and advocacy. First things first, I have to mention this. You know I have to mention this. It's Water Malone. <laughs> God, I'm dying. That's fucking hilarious. Someone sent this to me. Someone sent the, someone screen captured this from social media and sent it to me. I don't remember who it was. They said, I thought you'd get a kick out of this. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That is Water Malone. Post Malone. Water Malone. Come on. DIY or die. I'm not I'm running your channel for you. This is Water Malone. <laughs> Okay, so besides Water Malone, you know what I'm going to throw out there. It's the CASA vape mail call to action. This is rejecting S-1253. I'm going to do the whole speech right now. We don't know when this is getting voted on. Could get voted on soon. Could get voted on in April. We have no idea. Keep calling. Keep sending letters. Keep doing the calls to action. This only has a 42% chance of passing, and I feel like we could get this overturned quickly and greatly and easily, I think. So, Keep doing it. Keep doing those calls to action. Uh, additionally, I'm going to throw this out there. It's the Veritas Cohort Study. I've talked about this ad nauseum. It's the Veritas Cohort Study. If you're a smoker, if you're not a smoker, if you're a vapor and you've smoked less than 50 packs total in your life, you could be a part of this study. I'll have a link down in the description. If you're feeling like you might fit that criteria, be my personal hero and be a part of this study. I cannot wait for this study to get underway. I can't wait for it to be done. Now, this is actually the last, last time that I can promote this because tomorrow, ha, it's the big premiere, you guys. You don't know nicotine, worldwide digital premiere, November 20th. I'm gonna be watching this tomorrow night myself. Apparently, it's available at midnight. So we could technically... We could technically, TK Hudson, what up from LA? What up from the Valley? Yo, what up from the San Fernando Valley? I know where El Centro is. You got me all off track now, TK Hudson. You don't know nicotine. It's happening. I think this is going to be a pivotal. I'm trying to think of a bigger word than pivotal. Uh, landmark movie on nicotine education. It's going to be incredible. And so... This is since this is the last time I can promote it. I'm just going to flash this on the screen here. Get your tickets now, 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 now. You don't know nicotine. You can get your tickets. You can watch it. You can stream it. Uh, you can use a Roku. You can air play it to your TV. Figure out a way. Plug in an HDMI cable into your laptop. Watch it. I am so excited to watch this movie. And what I did, because this is the last time that I can promote you don't know nicotine. Get your tickets now, now, now. Since this is the last time that I can promote You Don't Know Nicotine, well, not the last time, I guess the last time before like the premiere, you know, I, uh, I pulled some strings. I pulled a few strings, reached out to some people that I know and by people, I mean one person, but, uh, Aaron Biebert, the director, pay attention, you guys, Aaron Biebert, the director of You Don't Know Nicotine recorded a special message just for us literally just for us, just for me, and just for you guys, just for today's vlog viewers. Uh, and he recorded it and sent it over to me, so I'd like to play that now. This is the director of You Don't Know Nicotine, Aaron Biebert. What do you have to say, Aaron? Hey everybody, Aaron Biebert, director of the movie You Don't Know Nicotine, which is coming out this weekend. We're pretty stoked about it. Nick asked me to make a video explaining a little bit about what we're doing in this project. So in 95 minutes, we go around the world talking to various nicotine experts, as well as people engaged on all sides of this raging debate. That's where we met Nick. Turns out there's a lot we didn't know about nicotine. Uh, most people know about nicotine through cigarettes, which can be deadly and cause death and disease. Um, but what is the deal with nicotine when it's not in cigarettes? Well, we got some answers for you and we're happy to share. Um, if you're interested in seeing the movie, you can go to nonicotine.com, which is K-N-O-W, nicotine.com. Uh, and we look forward to seeing what you think about it. Very much appreciated, Aaron. Very much appreciated. You and your crew and your wife and all of your hard work that has gone into this movie, it's about to pay off. 
People are going to watch it. I will never stop promoting this movie. I cannot wait to see this movie and see see the fruits of all of the hard work that you, like I said, you and your wife and your team have done. Uh, it's incredible. I think this is the perfect time for this for this movie. Um, and I really want to, you know, get as many people as I can to watch it. And uh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, for the video. Thank you for the words. Um, after we watch this movie, we're going to, we'll let, well, obviously we'll let you know. Obviously. In fact, on Tuesday, bro, Tuesday, sneak peek, um, we're going to, we're going to review it. We're basically just going to review. I'm going to review. You don't know nicotine coming this Tuesday. I'll have a link down in the description. You just go to no nicotine.com K N O W nicotine.com. And you can buy your movie. I don't know. I forget what they're calling it. It's like movie rental pass, digital rental movie pass or something like that. Do it, get it, do it, get it and watch it. I'm so excited for this movie, you guys. And one more time. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, for doing this video just for us. Exclusive, exclusive. Dang, might need another beer tonight. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention. I'm going to be mentioning a few more things here in the news and advocacy. We haven't got quite got to Canada yet, but where we are is in Suffolk County, New York. There is They are voting not today. They voted today in Suffolk County, New York to raise the age to smoke or vape to 25 years old, 25 years old, 25 years old. I don't, I haven't heard anything. I don't know if this passed, but let's see in Suffolk County. That means at 16, you can get your license and drive an automobile legally at 18. You can vote and enlist in the army. You know, those are legal now. At 21, you can drink. You can drink booze. At tw- when you turn 21 years old, you can go to the grocery store and buy as much rum or vodka or beer that you want. Buy some birthday cake flavored vodka if you want to. Yeah, they make it. Swedish fish flavored vodka. I- vanilla ice cream flavored flavored vodka at 21 and just as much as you want as much as you want, and you can just drink it, and you can get blackout drunk and just ruin your liver. That's allowed at 21, but you have to wait until you're 20 fucking five years old before you pick up, (laughs) before you pick up a vape. I really hope this didn't pass. I couldn't even, I mean, could you imagine if you're 23 You know, you're an adult at 23. Sorry, you are. You're an adult at 18 years old. Sorry, you are. You're an adult at 23. Imagine, remember back to being 23 years old. Imagine you're 23 years old. You had smoked since you're 12. And a few years ago, you discovered vaping. And now you've been vaping for the last few years and you've been completely combustion free, you know, and you're getting your clean nicotine divorced from tobacco and you're just... You're like, I feel great. I'm an ex-smoker. This feels great. And then suddenly they go, oh, well, that's not legal for you anymore. We just changed the law. And now you're going to have to wait two years. (laughs) Two years before you can smoke or vape. That's insane. That is, I mean, I can't think of it. Lunacy. Lunacy. That is lunacy. That is literally ripping your freedom and liberty away from you. And that is lunacy. I wish I had run across this sooner. I really literally ran across this like just yesterday. I tweeted it on my, on my Twitter, try to get people to call, try to get people to email the NYSVA. And I'll put a link down in the description to the NYSVA, which by the way, NYSVA, uh, update your website a little bit. That's all it's, it looks like a geo city site. And I and you would benefit greatly, I think, from uh, from some updatings of the website. But Suffolk County, New York, wake up to being a criminal tomorrow. Congratulations. Uh, I hope it didn't pass. I hope it didn't pass. Now, moving on from that, I wanted to talk about Canada for a hot minute because Canada, you guys, Canada has gone off the rails. There's there's no other way to explain it. Not not necessarily the country of Canada 
together, you know, as, as a people or, or even the government of Canada, what this comes down to, like, much like in the United States, is public health organizations. In the United States, we have wonderful, upstanding, credible organizations. For those of you that don't get sarcasm, that's, this is it right now. Credible, highly, highly regarded public health organizations like the American Lung Association and the American Heart Association. Remember when the American Heart Association did a whole like PR media campaign based on bad science and then Stanton Glantz left his post and then that, that paper got retracted for being unreliable but then the American Heart Association just went, nah, that's fine. I don't really care about that. The Canadian Lung Association has gone off the rails. Let's look at the Canadian Lung Association's infographic here, why don't we? E-cigarette vapor contains a number of toxic chemicals. So right out of the gate, you kind of go, that's not true. These same chemicals can be found in lead paint, gasoline, embalming liquid, wildfire smoke, vehicle exhaust, and cigarettes, which are still legal uh, everywhere. As far as I know, no restrictions really on cigarettes. You can buy them at every gas station, grocery store, and convenience store across the nation. Okay. I just want to make sure that you're comparing it. You know, if you're comparing it to cigarettes, you're demonizing something that could be as bad as cigarettes, but cigarettes, we don't, we don't demonize cigarettes anymore. We don't, we don't tell people the health uh, ramifications of smoking. You're like, okay. Um, so what? <laughs> uh, half truths, uh, whole lies. And wildfire smoke is the one where I went, wildfire smoke. Why? Why wildfire smoke? What is a constituent or component of wildfire smoke that can be found in e-cigarette vapor. I don't know. You don't know either? I don't know. Let's ask the Canadian Lung Association. <laughs> Maybe they know. I mean, they're the ones putting this out. And here's the thing. I'm assuming what they're talking about is propylene glycol because that's what everybody goes after is propylene glycol. In America, in the United States, we had this... Uh, Antifreeze, remember antifreeze, antifreeze. There's the, the, the product, the vape liquid, the same ingredients that are in antifreeze. Can you believe it? That's true. It's true, but it's in a much lower dose, A. And two, propylene glycol was put in antifreeze to make it safer, you morons. It's in antifreeze so that if a young child sees a rainbow colored puddle on the ground and they dip their finger and try to taste it, it won't kill them. That's why propylene glycol is in antifreeze. So they could be correct here. Does lead paint have PG, VG, nicotine, or flavorings? Look, there's only four ingredients in vapor liquid. It's either PG, VG, nicotine, or flavorings. Lead paint might have PG. Gasoline? What the fuck is an e-liquid that's in gasoline? I think they're just lying. I little, I legitimately think that the Canadian Lung Association could be just lying. They're lying, right? Like they have to be lying. They have to be lying. So when you click this link, it takes you to the. Uh, Canadian Lung Association. Let me read you some of this comedy right here. This is hilarious. Vaping products or electronic cigarettes are devices that heat e-liquid into an aerosol that is inhaled into the lungs. These devices are commonly called vapes, mods, e-hookahs, commonly called e-hookahs, sub-ohm tanks, tank systems, and vape pens. They may all look different, but they work in similar ways. The liquid sometimes referred to as e-juice, in a vape product contains a combination of ingredients, usually including nicotine, the highly addictive drug found in tobacco products. I mean, let's use air quotes here. Highly addictive drug found in tobacco products. 
Propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and flavoring. Many of these substances are considered safe. However, when these liquids are heated, they create new chemicals. And that may not be safe to inhale. For example, the heating process can create chemicals out of thin air. Like, f- <laughs> like formaldehyde. <laughs> formaldehyde? American, Canadian Lung Association hanging in there hard with the formaldehyde argument. So a long time ago, maybe I still have it. I might not still have it. A long time ago, I had, uh, you can buy these on Amazon. They're formaldehyde uh, atmosphere, you know, uh, detectors. So you can turn this little thing on in your house and walk it around your house and it'll show you the level of formaldehyde that is in, in your house. This was in 2016. I had one of these. And so I bought one and just did nothing but blow vapor at it. And you know what it read? (laughs) Zero, nothing. It didn't even beep or turn on or flash at me or anything. Formaldehyde hanging in there with the formaldehyde. We recommend that Canadians consider this. Learn the facts, you know, exactly. Vaping has significant health risks. You guys didn't know this? Vaping has significant health risks and understanding the potential short and long-term health outcomes before vaping is recommended. There is accumulating evidence that (laughs) e-cigarettes, I'm not gonna be able to finish this without laughing. There is accumulating evidence that e-cigarettes cause serious lung disease. Did you guys hear about the serious lung disease? No? What do you mean no? You didn't? Oh, that's because it doesn't exist? Oh, okay. Non-smokers, pregnant women, and people who have already quit smoking should not vape. Okay, so few things with that. Non-smokers, whatever. I don't care what you do. You can smoke, you can vape. I don't, I don't care. You're, you live your own life. You're an adult. Pregnant women probably shouldn't vape. Just going to guess pregnant women, pregnant women can't do anything, right? Can't drink, can't vape, can't smoke, can't do anything. Just be pregnant and go be pregnant and then do whatever you want after your pregnancy is done. People who have already quit smoking should not vape. That is some grade A bull pucky right there because it's not just, I've quit smoking before and then you know what I did a few years later? Right back to cigarettes, right fucking back to cigarettes. So let me tell you this. Don't listen to the Canadian Lung Association. If you are a smoker and you've quit smoking and you're thinking, "Hmm, maybe I'll smoke again. Don't vape instead. Canadian Lung Association doesn't want you to do that. I do. (laughs) If you're going to relapse, relapse into vaping, please. Young people should be educated and understand their increased risk of nicotine addiction. They don't have an increased risk of nicotine compared with the general population and should be strongly encouraged to not vape. Sure, absolutely. Nobody wants youths vaping. I don't want youths vaping unless that youth was a previously addicted cigarette smoker. That's when I say, who fucking cares? Don't smoke cigarettes. If you are vaping, now look, you guys, this is the serious part. If you're vaping, monitor for symptoms affecting your lung health, okay? Step one. Step two, let your healthcare provider know that you vape. Well, the Canadian Lung Association will be happy to know that I have recently got a lung x-ray and it came back just pristine, beautiful, beautiful lung x-ray. And I let my healthcare provider, my ear, nose, and throat doctor, I told him I vaped and he said, good, well done. Good job. He looked down my throat with a long, like, long, long sort of tubey thing. And he just went, just in and out. You know, it was in for a long time. And he's looking down my throat. I felt like he was in my lungs. Comes out. He says, he says to me, how long did you smoke cigarettes? I said, 13 years. He said, how long have you vaped? I said, about 10 years. He said, you could never tell that you were ever a smoker. Never tell that you were a smoker. So take that, Canadian Lung Association. You're crazy. Their last recommendation for Canadians is do not vape. The the Canadian Lung Association is telling Canadians not to vape. How we think this is going to age, right? How we think this is going to age. I'll put a link to this down in the description if if you really want to. Like, if you really want to, then there you go. Um... Talk to a health professional about clinically proven 
options for quitting, clinically proven options for quitting. They go on to talk about uh, how flavors are only for kids and uh, adults just like everything to taste like styrofoam and cardboard, you know. What's flavor? Everybody knows that when you turn 25 in Suffolk County, your your tastes just change. And you go, no, I don't like tasty food or desserts or candy or cereal anymore. All I eat is fucking styrofoam. <laughs> That's what I eat. You didn't know that? This goddamn Vupu Argus Pro, you have to wake it up. This is getting three banana stickers. And then they talk about how there's uh, there's no evidence right now, you guys. Canadian Health, Canadian Lung Association. This isn't coming from me. This is coming from them. There's no evidence right now, you guys, that uh, vaping <laughs> will help you quit smoking. There's no evidence of that. Well, there's no evidence for that except for this, which was a gigantic metadata study of hundreds and hundreds of randomized control trials done by the Cochrane Library as electronic cigarettes for smoking cessation where the conclusion that they came to was slightly different than the Canadian Lung Association. So look, there's science, it's out there. The Cochrane Library is a big deal. They are the gold standard of science and meta-analysis. Maybe we need to send this to the Canadian Lung Association. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And just as like a sort of a change of pace, that's what the Canadian Lung Association has to say. Very similar to what the, uh, you know, what the American Lung Association has to say. What about the British Lung Association? What do they have to say? Surprised? E-cigs are 95% less harmful than cigarettes and can be used to quit. British Lung Foundation. Maybe we need to get the British Lung Foundation and the Canadian Lung Foundation and the American Lung Association to kind of all just talk a little bit. You know, I feel like the Canadian Lung Association just looked at the American Lung Association and went, what, what are you guys doing? What, oh, you're just lying? Oh, okay. Is that all you're doing? Oh, you're just lying? Oh, you're relying on retracted science? All right, we don't have any... We can lie. We can just lie. You guys are really just lying? That's it? And that works? Oh, shit. All right. Well, let's lie too. You guys, the American Lung Association said we can just lie and people will believe it because we're a respected health organization. Uh, it's enough to make you go crazy. <laughs> it's enough to make you insane. A um, few more things that I wanted to talk about. We're going to end this with some science. We're going to end this with some science, but right now... I want to talk about this. Have you seen this on social media? What do you, look at that. Tell me what you think that is. Tell me what you think that's an ad for. Looks a lot like cigarettes. It looks a lot like cigarettes. Tat, feel the cool. I'm assuming it's menthol in some way. And we got this weird fucking bearded hipster doofus with his weird pompadour hair just hanging out, being cool, feeling the cool, smoking a tat. So what a tat is, it is a hemp cigarette. So these are herbal cigarettes, which aren't necessarily anything new. I was smoking herbal cigarettes uh, 1993, 1994 maybe. Right around those times, maybe it was a little after high school, maybe it was like 97, so like the, the mid to late 90s, uh, I would go to my local cigar shop inside the Horizon Resort and Casino in, in, in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and uh, we'd buy cigarettes, we'd buy cigars, and they had a swath of herbal cigarettes that when you smoked them, they kind of tasted a little bit minty, they kind of tasted a little bit uh, like a little bit cannabis-ish, a little bit weedy. They tasted like weed, like minty weed. It was the most bizarre thing ever. And so what this company, Tat, which feel the cool, Tat, feel the cool, feel the cool. No, that's not marketing to anybody but adults. <laughs> no 
child is going to see this. No youth is going to see this. They're going to go, nope, I don't want to be like Pompadour Hipster Doofus over here feeling the cool. I'm going to jewel. Tat. Feel the cool. Tat allows smokers to continue enjoying the sensations of smoking, but without any of the nicotine. At Tat, we understand that smokers don't just use cigarettes because of the nicotine. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Tat, what the fuck are you talking about? We understand that smokers don't just use cigarettes because of the nicotine. Uh, that's why I smoked. I don't know. Show of hands. Who else smoked because they were uh, dependent on nicotine? Yeah, me. I definitely did. It's also about the rituals. Oh, that's right. The rituals. Moments and experiences associated with smoking a cigarette. So, okay, I get it. So like the hand to mouth, right? The hand to mouth, the inhaling and exhaling, kind of like this. Hmm. Sort of, sort of kind of like that, I guess. Tat Beyond Tobacco mimics those experience without nicotine or tobacco. Smokers now truly have a choice to reduce their nicotine intake without compromising their smoking experience. Daniel, yeah, you guys smoke. That's crazy. You guys smoked for the nicotine? Green-eyed lady, Joey, even Jesse? Right, that's like saying you drink beer for the water. Uh, hi, me too, Harry, me too. Live long and prosper. I smoked for the nicotine. I didn't care about, I don't know, literally anything else, obviously, because I'm vaping now. I really only cared about the nicotine. And I guess, you know, the hand to mouth, the inhaling, the exhaling. Now, they're making, they're making outright cessation claims on this. They're saying that, Quit smoking using tap. You know, they're saying stop cigarettes. You can use this. We have a patent pending refinement process of this beyond tobacco, these herbal, these herbal cigarettes. And they're making cessation claims, which leads me to believe, ah, FDA is not going to allow this to stay on the market. And if they do, it's going to be without the cessation claims. Now, this is where we get into like this really bizarre sort of gray area of harm reduction. As far as I know, and as far as I'm making the, you know, the conclusion sort of based on the information that I have available to me is smoking is still smoking. Combustion is still combustion. There is some science showing like right here that smoking cannabis, like combusting cannabis is not as carcinogenic as combusting tobacco. A part of that is, you know, there's other things in, in cannabis and hemp. When you smoke it, there's less carcinogens present. Additionally, the carcinogens that are in there sort of get hampered by the THC that's in it. THC has this enzyme that apparently will, will, will counteract some of the more harsh carcinogens in tobacco. And again, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I barely graduated high school. This is just what I've read in medical journals, but there is some science around the idea that combusting hemp, CBD, or THC cannabis products, less carcinogens, lower levels of carcinogens. So that in and of itself could be interpreted as some sort of like harm reduction. It's still combustion. There is also some very, 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 loose science around the idea of substituting cigarettes for something else that doesn't have nicotine in it. I was talking to someone on Twitter and they said, well, in Switzerland, they promote these herbal cigarettes as a way to quit smoking. That's not entirely true. They don't promote them as a way to quit smoking, but they do promote them pretty regularly as like a consumer product. It's not use these herbal cigarettes. I don't even have anything that looks like a pack of cigarettes. Use these herbal cigarettes to quit smoking. That's not what they do. In Switzerland, they have 
sort of this uh, booming cannabis industry happening in Switzerland. Um, Low THC uh, cannabis and CBD cannabis are decriminalized and regulated now. And so in Sweden, uh, not Sweden, Switzerland, it's more of a, well, here's another thing. Here's another choice. You know, it's like, look, you can smoke cigarettes, uh, you you can vape, or you can smoke these herbal cannabis-based herbal cigarettes. And the idea is, and like I said, there's some very loose science based on this idea. And it goes kind of hand in hand with low nicotine cigarettes is that eventually, eventually this could lead to quitting smoking. It doesn't instantly lead to smoking like vaping does. And I'm not, again, vaping isn't one size fits all. It's different for everybody. Like I've established that. It's not this sort of transition away from combustion instantly. It's more of a transition away from combustion eventually. If a smoker picks up an herbal cigarette, they could smoke it. When they realize they're not getting nicotine, they might just quit. That's the whole theory behind this is if they're not getting nicotine, they might just quit. Or if you're a smoker and you have any experience with nicotine dependency and being a smoker, chances are you might just pick up cigarettes again. Chances are you might just pick up cigarettes again. So tat, I'm going to buy some, obviously I'm going to buy some and smoke some just because I'm a free adult American and I need to know what this is all about. Now this cannabis and tobacco smoke not being equally carcinogenic. I'm going to put carcinogenic. I'm going to put a link down in the description. This is from a harm reduction journal. So I'm going to put that link. Uh, I'm going to put that link down in the description. Uh, I wanted to end this news and advocacy. How are we on time? Not wearing a watch. Doing great. I'm going to end this news and advocacy with some science. That's right. Some straight up science, some real life science. Actually, real quickly, before we get to the science science, I want to give a shout out to all of the Mexico vapors. Any vapor in Mexico, hola, you guys got it tough down there in Mexico right now. Uh, You have this commissioner against addiction who's part of the health ministry in Mexico. Um, I was... I, somehow this came across my Twitter feed and I have no idea why, but there's a Twitter account called Pro Vape Mexico. You can follow them, Pro Vapo Mexico. I'll post their link down in the description if you're, you know, if you're in Mexico and you're a vapor. But you guys have this commissioner against addiction. Imagine having that. Someone at the government, someone at the health ministry that is purposefully in, in, in favor of anti-addiction. I feel like that's where the United States is headed and I don't like this precedent being set in Mexico of having a commissioner against addiction, but he is ruthless. His name is Gaddy (laughs) Zabicki. That's not not such a tough sounding name, you know? Gaddy Zabicki. We got Gaddy Zabicki down there in Mexico and he is really going after vaping hard with like a torch. He, he is, he, he, he discriminates against vapors. He calls, uh, you know, nicotine addicts insects. He's really disparaging, uh, you know, not, uh, not a shred of compassion that I can find in this guy, but I'm going to post a link down in the description to the pro vape Mexico Twitter, as well as, I don't know, I guess I can link to this guy's Twitter profile, although he's kind of just a total piece of shit. There's a great subreddit that I go to all the time called I am a total piece of shit. And he would, he, he would just fit right in there. I could just post this tweet in there. Total piece of shit. Total, complete and total piece of shit. So shout out to you vapors in Mexico. Uh, keep fighting the good fight. You have a, a, a long, a long road ahead of you because of Dr. Zabicki. But man, so now, and I'll have links down in the description, all my Mexico vapors. Yeah. A pro vaping consumer advocacy association. Yeah. Pro vapo Mexico, pro vapio Mexico. He called us, he called vapors mosquitoes. He said, yeah, he's really like condescending and discriminatory and really like berating of vapors. Like he is the opposite of what we need for like to end the war on drugs in the United States and like actually get people help and stop using nomenclature like addicts. He is the opposite of that. Everybody who is addicted to anything is an addict. 
You know, he discri- he's really disparaging. He's really just like he's a dick. Like if I had to describe him, I'd be like, dude, you're a dick. <laughs> you're a dick. So that's what's going on in Mexico. Um, I'm going to end this. Let's, let's wrap up this news and advocacy. We're going to wrap this up with some science. Not even weird science. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, harm reduction journal cannabis compared to the carcinogenic properties of tobacco. I'll have that in the description. I'll also have Water Malone. <laughs> Never not makes me laugh. Water Malone. No, let's end this with some science. So JAMA. The J-A-M-A, this stands for the Journal of the American Medical Association. Am I wrong about this, Danielle Jones? Wish I had my fact checker here. The JAMA Open Network. Now, the JAMA Open Network themselves, they say, we are an international peer-reviewed, that's important, international peer-reviewed open access general medical journal that publishes clinical care, health policy, and global health research. So kind of a big deal when we talk about science and persuading people with science and persuading possible future Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or whoever he chooses for a head of health and human services or FDA. When we talk about persuading people with science, this is the kind of science that we are after. And this is the tweet from JAMA where they said RTC, which is randomized control trial finds black and Latin X adult cigarette smokers who switch to e-cigarettes reduce, reduce some of the cancer causing chemicals in their system. If they completely switch to e-cigarettes, they lower some of these chemicals levels considerably, considerably. Now, if we blow that up a little bit, you can kind of see, I'm going to show you this, this whole infographic right here. This whole infographic, and you can see, you know, the population, where they did it, locations, primary outcome, interval. Sure. Look over here to the findings, right? The findings over here. Look at the control. And so what they're looking for is, okay, I, I shouldn't have showed you this. I need to explain this a little bit, and I apologize. I knew I had this for a reason. This is the study. Effects of pod e-cigarettes versus cigarettes on carcinogen exposing exposure among African-American and Latinx smokers, which, by the way, I just want to go on record right now. I, I, the, the term Latinx kind of bothers me, and I don't know why. I'm just a white dude, and I feel like that's not a good thing. to Like this Latinx is encompassing everything in like South America. So like if you're from Argentina or uh, Cuba or, or Mexico or Costa Rica or something like that. You just, nope, you get lumped into this Latin X sort of bucket. And I don't know why that bothers me so much. It just rubs me the wrong way. And look, if it doesn't rub any Latinas the wrong way, then I, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it if you're cool with it, but I feel like this is a weird thing. Anyway, this was the big headline. And so what they looked for specifically was NNAL, which has a long scientific name that I cannot pronounce, but I'm going to try. Methyl, not even going to try. Methyl nitrosamoniopridylbutanol. Through pidylbutanol. NNAL. And what NNAL is a biomarker. It's a cancer biomarker that is a uh, respiratory cancer biomarker. So this is a this is a pulmonary carcinogen. NNAL is a pulmonary carcinogen. Again, not a doctor, not a scientist, barely a high school graduate. I just I read a lot of medical journals and I try to understand them as the best way that I can with Google helping me with words. This is a <laughs> this is a pulmonary carcinogen. Pulmonary carcinogen. AA N-N-A-L. And so if you look at this graphic over here, you can see, look at the findings. Baseline. This is control. This is cigarette smokers. Six weeks later with e-cigarettes, look at the drop of N-N-A-L that was discovered in urine. These are cancer biomarkers. Just after six weeks, it's almost been like cut in half. Cut in half. This is the science that we need to start 
sharing on social media with all of the powers that be, at least all of the powers that be that are receptive to science. As we talked about on Tuesday Bro Tuesday last week, Tuesday Bro Newsday last week, which I'll have a link down in the description. You can go check it out. Got a little bit heated, but I think we still had a good stream. This is something we talked about is targeting your messaging for anybody. If you're talking to a Democratic senator from Wisconsin, this is how you would talk to that Democratic Wisconsin, senator from Wisconsin. If you're talking to a Republican representative in Oregon, here's how you would talk to a Republican representative in Oregon. If people are, you know, like Democrats are looking for science, this, this is the science. This is the science that we need to be using, you guys. So there you go. That's gonna. I think that's going to wrap up all of the news and advocacy that I felt compelled to share with you. I will have links for everything, literally everything down below in the description, including the JAMA, including TAT. Actually, I don't know if I can put a link to TAT in the description. I'm going to try. I'm going to see what YouTube says. The Cochrane Library study will be down in the description. The CASA vape mail will be down in the description. Literally everything I just talked about will be down in the description. Now is the time when we fight. Now, it's been like this since I started vaping, and it's just going to continue like this until vaping is safe, legal, and accessible, and flavored for all currently addicted adult smokers. That's when I'll stop being an advocate. <laughs> That's when I'll be stopped being an advocate. Every once in a while, there's a little static. All right, let's see if we can fix this. What if I jiggle this around over here? What if I move my microphone around? It's still getting static. I don't want this static. I don't want it. No, nope. static. Still static. Keep me updated on the static, uh, the static situation. But that's gonna uh, that's gonna wrap it up for news and advocacy. Uh, like I said, I'll have links down in the description. But I would like to do a few more super chats now. That's all you get because we're running long. <laughs> it's all you get because we're running long. Uh, let's see, where did I even leave off? Uh, Hamish, that's right, Hamish. Richard, that's very gracious of you. One year is a big deal, Joey. Fuck yeah, it is. Celebrated seven months. We do this one day at a time. Yo, yo. Fuck yeah, Richard B. Appreciate you. Adam, that's very gracious of you. I can't stay... Just saying hi. I didn't even get to this while you're probably still here, Adam, but I hope you have a great night. Vape in case, what's the password? I can't tell you the password, vape in case. I can't tell you until Dwayne tells you. If Dwayne wants to tell the chat what the password is, then that's up to Dwayne. I'll tell you the password at the end of the stream. Ranger Rusty, Yak saved a brother today. Much love to the Almighty One. Also, yo yo to you as well. Yes. Much love to the almighty one, Dwayne. Appreciate you, Ranger Rusty. Frankie, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Nick, ordered my type two. Your hype two. Oh, shit. Hype two RTA. We, we cannot get in the habit of calling this the hype two RTA. <laughs> and I owed 100 for it. Hell yeah. Thanks for all you do. Have a great holiday. Thank you, Frankie. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. This setup rules. This is like my desert island setup right now. Good luck with matchy matchy on the future project. Okay. <laughs> I hear you loud and clear, Jake. Appreciate you. Kevin, that's very gracious of you. Just a whatever a smiley face. Uh, pronounced Meshka. Oh, from TK Hudson. TK Hudson made and canned right before I sent it to you. El Central California East of SD. TK Hudson? Did this come from you, TK Hudson? Why did I write TV on the bottom? Why did I write TV on the bottom, TK? Why did I not write TK? What the hell? What's my, what is my problem? What the hell does it matter with me? Thank you for the beer, dude. It's delicious. Ranger, man. Don't forget you can also join the military at 18. That's right. Vote. Join the military at 18. You're an adult. Wait a few years, you can drink. Wait even longer for some reason, then you can vape. Oh, Josh, my goshy. Uh, almost like they want to get rid of us. I wonder why. Oh, well, the reasons are numerous in nature, Joshy, my goshy. You know, and look, this is something I keep coming back to. Uh, the MSA flavors and kids are going to be our hardest struggle moving forward. That's where I think we need to focus. Nick, that's very gracious of you. As a Canadian, I have found that anything that the Canadian Gov puts out about vaping is just all over the place. And it pays you to do your own research. 
100%. In the United States, we don't have that problem. Everything that comes out from the United States government about vaping is just all negative. So that's our that's our baseline is just nonstop attack barrage of negative news. <laughs> that's where we're at, Nick. Uh, Stan, that's what I looked like when I was smoking. You did? You had that pompadour? Don't tell me you had that. Stop that. You had this? This is Stan? This is Stan Tenacious TX Vapes when you were smoking? I refuse. I refuse to accept that. Josh, that's very gracious of you. We are fighting. Shout out Pro Vape uh, South Carolina uh, in TT. Feels free. Feel free to help us out. Thank you for voicing out. Greetings from Mexico. Fuck yeah, Josh. Fuck yeah, Josh. I, look, I try to keep this as global as possible because I realize my viewers aren't just in the United States. Tuesday Row Tuesday is more for like U.S. policy legislation stuff. But the vlog is global, baby. They're dealing with it in Australia. They're dealing with it in Mexico. We're dealing with it in the United States. They're dealing with it in Canada. It's ridiculous. So keep fighting, Josh. Uh, Joe, thank you for all the hard work you put into these videos and live streams. You are a huge reason why I have stayed off six for so long. Oh, Joe, thank you. You know, it's a labor of love. I woke up this morning so excited. In fact, I went to sleep last night thinking about the vlog, thinking tomorrow's vlog day. Today's just my favorite day. I, I don't know. I can't explain it, Joe. <laughs> I can't explain it. Richard B., Seven years, not seven months. Can't wait for the type two. Still, shout out Richard B. Trey, Apple or Android, Nick? Life's big question. Uh, is it or is that a personal preference, Trey? JK. I'm Apple. I'm Apple all the way. I'm, and it's not because I think that Apple is like some superior technology company like I don't just Apple all over my face it's because I bought an iPhone and I really liked it and I went oh this is a cool phone I like this iPhone okay well now I'm gonna buy an iPad there we go now I got iPads and iPhones all right I guess I'm gonna buy a Mac now and now I'm gonna buy a MacBook Pro and now everything I own is Apple and it's just easy to fall into their little ecosystem because it works basically flawlessly every single time Tenacious TX Vape Stan, you're not going to advert on your channel, but I just paid for a lot of type twos. Winky face. Oh, I see. So Stan over there at lucidrda.com might have some type two winky face type twos. Appreciate you, Stan. Uh, Rising Phoenix Vapory, bro, how have you guys been? Very gracious of you. You didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. I appreciate you being here, Rising Phoenix. So what we're going to do right about now, I believe, is I'm going to rearrange my screen because that's always what happens. I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move that there. And now we're all set. What I would like to do right now, should we open mail? Holy shit, we ran long. It's 550. Don't tell me I just spent that long. Holy crap. Let's Let's mail? Let's mail. Hi, welcome to the three and a half hour vlog tonight. Let's mail. I cannot believe it's this late already. And I don't even have my good knife. Where are all my knives? Oh, here's one. Okay. Okay, let's open some mail. And like I said, this is going to be a DHL box, but the rest, I believe, is uh, patron mail, Patreon mail. But right now, we're going to see what the latest and greatest from uh, from China is. Let's see. The latest and greatest from China is... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Geek Vape. Secret agent man. Uh, this is from Geek Vape, and it is a gigantic, gigantic Aegis uh, box of some sort. Have you guys seen this? What the hell's going on here? Wow, what a waste of space this box was. Cool. Hey, this is cool. Oh, shit. You know what this is? This is the Boost Plus... Something, Aegis, Aegis Boost Plus. It's the newest Boost Plus. The newest Aegis Boost Plus. 
Got that leather cutout. It's got a 510 adapter for it already included in here. How do I do this? Oh. Ah, no, maybe not. Maybe that's not how it goes. Why can't I click you down? Why won't you let me click you down, you fucking Aegis? What the hell? All right, then here's the RDTA. This comes with everything you need, apparently. Okay, there's the... No, nothing will click down in here. Ugh, no, all right. I'm going to need to fiddle with this a little bit. I can't even get a pod in. Does it look like I'm doing this wrong? Airflow goes to the front, right? I'm not doing this wrong. Should click down in the back. Ugh. Oh, okay. That's unsatisfying as hell, Geek Vape. Why did you do it that way? That's so dumb. Okay. So you have to put this in the slot and then push the button in to get it to click down. Single 21700, dude, that's a tiny little thing with a 510 on it. And it comes with tanks and it comes with an RDTA and it came with a whole mess of, uh, here, a whole mess of coils. Let me show you. In fact, I can flip this around and like literally nothing will fall out. Geek Vape, the Aegis super box the aegis briefcase crazy i'm gonna use the thing is i will use this later i will use this later for sure all right geek vape dang aegis stuff this what's that sound like what does that sound like to you coils huh huh does that sound like coils On the old Geek Vape stuff, you used to just be able to... Oh, this isn't coils. God damn it. I meant to cancel this. It's my Minoxidil. I don't need more Minoxidil. I've been barely going through what I have. I'm trying to grow my hair back, and I joined a thing that yeah, they send you Minoxidil, and I still have a ton left, and they send you these terrible pills... Finistride, which never take these. Again, not a doctor, not a scientist, barely graduated high school. I just use all of the information that I possibly can to make an informed decision. And Finistride is the worst shit on earth. And every bottle of Finistride that I get, I throw away because it's terrible. It's like, yeah, this could help you grow your hair back, but also your genitals are going to fall off. Basically, that's what the warning is. And I'm like, what's the, what is the good of having hair if I have no working dick? Shut the fuck up. What a trade-off to make right there. Well, you can either have hair or you can have a working dick. Sorry, you know, vape break. Um, but let's keep this party going. Toonie. Toonie, are you in the chat? I've seen you already. I got a package from Toonie. I, I love packages from Toonie. I love packages from Toonie. In fact, all right, hang on. I have a liquid t picked out, but maybe we'll do a, a Toonie liquid if we sent some DIY stuff. Let's see what Toonie has to say. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. Oh, Toonie. Okay, A, I got some billet box doors that are stock billet box doors. Toonie's Twisted Staples. I got Toonies Twisted Staples. Yay. I got a bottle of liquid. Prelude to Yig. I feel like I need to let this steep, Toonie. Would you agree? Is that an accurate statement to make? Is that an accurate statement to make? I feel like I need to let this steep a little bit. Holy shit, I didn't even get a garbage bag. What am I doing? What a crazy day at the Grim Greens. <laughs> Just kidding. What do you got to say, Toonie? Brother, uh, Mary Beth Leeton sent me some billet box stuff that I couldn't repair, so bonus for you. I saw that. Uh, RE the Yig, I lowered the crumble to 1% and the egg tart to 1.6, which brings out all the black currant and oatmeal more. I made you some twisted frame staples. Uh both mouth to lung and normal. It looks like the billet bridge will take a five wrap MTL XO Toonie. Hugs to the pickle. Pickle, you're getting Toonie hugs. 
saving this, Toonie. I'm saving this. In fact, can we just take a break really quickly, really quickly to hydrate? Look, look I need some hydration, fam. Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easier to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. What up, Mike Kerf? I just saw you arrive. It might say paid sponsor on this video. This is it. It's the coldest water bottle. They sponsor the vlog and at least the hydration portion of it. Uh, it's important to stay hydrated. I try to drink at least one of these every single day, if not two of these. The coldest water is literally the best water bottle I've ever owned. And I owned a lot of water bottles. Camelback used to be my jam. You know, at Starbucks roasting plant, Camelbacks. This makes a Camelback look like a something dumb. This is a great water bottle. It's my favorite water bottle. Uh, they, they pay me to say this. They don't pay me to say this. They pay me to put this on YouTube. I'll have a link down in the description. You can use the code Grim and get 10% off, but this literally never leaves my side. I would suggest getting the, uh, the flip top jammer right there. Plus what a palette for stickers. We got sticker packs available on Grim Green Merch. GrimGreenMerch.com. Load up your bottle with uh, some stickers. Yeah, what is this? What are you? This is something from Mission. What are you? You're an MTL guy? I got a bridge potato. But I don't know where it where it's from. It looks like this. And it's got the Mission logo on it. What is this? I'm going to have to research this. Toonie, thank you. Bro, thank you, Toonie. You know what, Toonie? You have been, you are, Toonie has never been anything but amazingly friendly and gracious to me my entire YouTube career. I met him in 2015 at Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, at the VPX show there. We had a great time. He's such a nice guy. He's been my moderator for years now. He's a moderator on a lot of vape YouTubers. And Addy Tooney, you're just a legend. You're just a legend and I love you and thank you. Tooney MTL Twisted Staples. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a black switch. Oh, this is a black switch. I could put a black switch on one of my billets. Holy crap, tastic. That's amazing. Okay, thank you, Toonie. I love you. Thank you for the billet stuff, bro. And thank you for the liquid. I'm going to let this uh, steep up a little bit before I really start digging into it because I feel like this flavor profile, you know, it benefits pretty great from being, uh, from being uh, steeped. Dan, I have a package from Dan. Dan, are you here tonight? Did you send me a package, Dan? I know. Everyone loves Addy Toonie. How do you not love Addy Toonie? How, how do you not? Well, let's find out who Dan is. Oh, Juice My Way. That's right, Dan. Uh, how it goes, dude. Hope all is well. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, 100%. Please enjoy... Uh, well, please enjoy. Honest opinions are always welcome. I know you enjoyed the banana moon pie. Yep. And I'm hoping this will have the same effect. Take care, man. Keep doing what Grim Green does. It's my new favorite thing to watch. Welcome, Dan. Um, by the way, my wife recently got her kidney removed. I'm going to leap out of the window and say, I really believe she has watched every Grim vid you've created during her bed rest. Really? Your wife is binging some Grim Green entertainment. Well, look, I appreciate that. I know on YouTube, you have a lot of entertainment choices. But I appreciate you choosing the Grim Green channel to spend your time. Whoops. Wrong drawer. This is my note drawer. What, what's, what do we got here? Oh, we got some juices. Hey, we got some Sour Patch Kids. How did you know that I was completely out of sweets and all candy? How did you know? How did you know, Dan? Well, we got some stickers. What do we got? Liquids. Looks like we got some berry good, some banana pudding. Looks like we got some uh, sweet gum, sweet and sour gummy. Really? Apple cider pudding. Oh, shit, that sounds delicious. And apple. 
apple cider donut. Really? Apple cider donut. These all sound like delicious fall flavorings. Well, look, Dan, you know me. I'm always wicking stuff. I'm always building stuff. I'm always setting stuff up. So surprise little, you know, little juice samples. These are going to go a long way, bro, and I really appreciate it. We might even throw one on that uh, very random liquid tasting. I don't see why not. I don't see why we can't do that. What else? There's only a few more. In fact, hang on. Kevin, is there a Kevin here tonight? Kevin V? Are you here tonight, Kevin V? See you later, Paolo. Appreciate you, bro. Casey Arts Cocktails is here. You're stealing that apple cider donut? Oh, that's what you think. That's <laughs> if there's a Kevin V here, I don't want to say your last name. Your $2 box got returned to me. I sent you a $2 box. This could be some good stuff in here, man. Uh, and it got returned to me. So uh, hit me up on the Patreon so that I can uh, so I can get this back to you. I guess I need your proper address. I guess I need your proper address. Rhett's beard. Rhett. Rhett's beard. Are you here tonight? Pfft. Figures. I'm just kidding. I'm opening this. I'm opening this thing. Oh, it's like gift wrapped. It's like opening a Christmas gift. Uh, Kershaw. Oh, this is a knife. This is a knife. We haven't even traded yet. We haven't even traded yet, but this is a knife. Wait, what did you send me? Hang on, hang on, Rhett's beard. This doesn't seem fair because I haven't traded you anything. We have I haven't sent you anything yet. Uh, okay to read on the stream. Hey, Nick, it's Rhett. What up, Rhett? Now, now look at the camera and wave awkwardly. Oh. Hi. Here's some uh, pokey stuff to the trade for some vape stuff. I tried to pick a fun variety so you won't get bored of stabbing stuff. Uh, keep those jeans high and tight. <laughs> Rats a beard. Threw a couple of stickers from my uh, FIL dressed as a pirate. Beca what? Hang on. There's, there's, ooh. Oh, see, this is slick. Look at this slick little Kershaw knife, bro. That is sick. So since the, we're not going to have time to do anything tonight. I'm realizing this. We're going to have time to do retro vaping. Maybe retro vaping. Maybe. Did I take way too long on the, uh, <laughs> shit. Oh, this is another one. He sent me some pokey things. Well, shit. Let's look at pokey things. Why would we not? Why would we not look at pokey things? Whoa, that's boss. Bro, that's boss. Holy shit. Look at that boss blade right there. That is sick. Well, thank you for the pokey things. I'm going to uh, cut myself. I'm just kidding. I'm going to uh, accidentally cut myself. And I got uh, pirate stickers. Okay? In case you're curious. Pirate, fucking pirate stickers. I cannot believe how late it is. I cannot believe how late it is. This flannel needs to come off. Did I really spend that long on news and advocacy? Is that a real reality? Is that something that just happened? That's impossible. It's impossible. Ugh, okay. The shirt's gone. Dixon, sorry. Dixon, you're gone. I can never get my hands out of the holes because I don't like to undo the buttons. Does anybody else run into that problem? All right, Dixon, uh, there. All right, <laughs> that's fine. I meant to go on the chair. That's fine. All right, let's keep trucking along. Who cares? Let's go long. Let's just fucking do it. Let's go hella long. Oh, Kershaw, another Kershaw knife here. All right, Rhett. I owe Rhett's beard hella vape stuff. I can't believe you kept all this, like kept the original packaging and everything. Woo! That is serious. Holy shit. That's a, that's a serious blade right there, my friend. That's a banger. 
Who wants to go stab stuff? I'm just kidding. I'm trying my best not to cut myself because the last time I opened knives on the vlog, I ended up, uh, well, I ended up cutting myself. All right, well, I'm gonna have to keep all this packaging now. Damn it, Rhett's beard. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay, it's great. I appreciate this. I'm gonna get you. Okay, there's one more package. Uh, we're, we're, we'll, talk, we'll talk about the trade. Hit me up, Rhett, what do you want? You already sent me something. I feel bad that I have your items and, I, and you don't have my items and we were supposed to trade. Eh, and it just didn't quite happen there. Rhett's beard, fucking A, Rhett's beard. You're one of the good ones. All right, last package. Last package. It's only 608. <gasps> what? Is this from uh Ah, yes, Grim. I've uh, been holding on to this for a while trying to get it to you. Glad we finally got this to you. Happy to see you on the billet box rabbit hole. I'm sure you will enjoy this and Next is to get a mission switch. Thanks for all you do. Desert Vapor, Crave Vapor, ha a.k.a. Dave. Sorry for being on work paper. That's okay. It's Orkin paper. D Dave's, an, Dave's an Orkin man. That's amazing. What I have in front of me, holy shit. I can't believe I have this in front of me. Maybe we should do this on Monday. Woo, buddy. Look at this. Does everybody know what that is? Yeah, I know what this is. It's a bridge version 1.2. Uh, really excited about this. I have been on the billet box train. This is going to go inside Golden Boy because the Nautilus Mini in here is just a placeholder, you know? It's just a placeholder. In fact, I'm gonna be selling slash trading some billet box stuff. Oh, that's cool battery wrap. Oh. Two battery wraps. Oh, three battery wraps. Stoked. Four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, four battery wraps. Uh, bridged. 1.2 for the billet box. Fuck, that's cool. I'm going to read your super chat right now, Rhett. Glad you like them. Def in for the pioneer. That's right. We'll talk about the rest. Okay, we'll talk about the rest later. Yeah, I got a pioneer set aside for you, Rhett. It's actually, it's literally sitting right here. You want me to grab it? Pioneer. That's your pioneer, Rhett. Right here. Right there. Okay, so that's going to bring us to the end of the vape mail area. And what we're going to have to do right now, we have no choice. Bridged, dude. Bridged. I got toony stuff. I got a toony uh, bridge in there as well. I got toony coils. Toonie liquid, knives, sharp things, minoxidil, and abridged version 1.2. I haven't even looked at this. Let me just, let me spend a little, let me just look at it real quick. I know we're running long. I, wow, that's cool. That's cool. I wonder how the airflow is. Does anybody have a bridged 1.2 yet? Anybody got a bridged 1.2? PSS, you got your bridged today? How is it? Give me your hot take on it. It looks cool as fuck. I mean, I know this is like a renowned uh, thing. It looks a little bit on the basic side. Not, I mean, not on the basic side, but anyway, I'm excited about it. We're going to build a bridge. Going to build a bridge. Look, it's going to be hard to compete with the vape snail. It's going to be hard to compete with the vape snail, which I want to vape right now, but my battery is dead. So that brings us to the end of the vape mail segment here. I'm going to swap out this battery. I'm going to grab my retro vape stuff. And before we do any more super chats, let's at least get into this retro vape box. Oh, shit. All right. This is definitely going to be the rest of the vlog. This is 100% going to be the rest of this vlog. It is time for box number eight. I can't believe we're at box number eight of the retro vapes. Full battery. Give me some of that vape snail action. You need it. 
You just need a little bit of that six milligram. It's not called pony on acid anymore. Berry fantasy. I think that's what they call it. How do you not love a billet box? How do you not love a vape snail? These are the questions I want to know. I need answers. Uh, McSplishy in the chat. I have uh, three bridged RBAs. It is the best along with the Exoset V2. Yeah, I was reading about that last night. The Exoset V2 last night. It was on some billet box groups on, group on Facebook. Are you shocked? Rick, Martin, are you shocked that we're running over? Hell, let me use one of my new knives. Let's use a new knife. Let's use that tiny guy. Where'd that tiny guy go? Let's use a tiny guy to open this box. So this is uh, other 2017 mods and stuff. Now, this box, besides being gigantic, and I cannot believe it's 615 already. We didn't get to do getting to know Grim Green. We didn't get to do a very random liquid tasting. Man, I need to uh, I need to really evaluate my time here. This is going to be holy shit. This is going to be a hodgepodge of mods. Disregard the label that says 2017 mods and stuff. I wanted to keep. Okay, Ranger Man, running long, Grim Green. Technically yes, but so. What? But so what? Now, what's in this box? These are these are kind of important mods. This is my original yet broken, but yet I refuse to get rid of it revenant. It's a very patriotic revenant. I use this for months and 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 months. I finally dropped it. So I used to live in uh, San Diego. Hey, my wife, my wife is texting me right now. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, here, here's, here's a merch plug. Uh, now through November 30th at midnight, get 20% off your order of $30 or more at grimgreenmerch.com. Use the code I love vlog day, all one word. We're starting Black Friday and Cyber Monday early. So get on it. Also, cool kids have a special deal posted in the Patreon. So if you're on the Patreon, you have a special deal posted there. For everybody else, if you use the coupon code I love vlog day, all one word, all uppercase, I love vlog day, you can get 20% off your order of $30 or more at grimgreenmerch.com. How was that, Pickle? Was that okay? I'm bad at pimping my own stuff. I'm so much better. Like I would rather talk about Turk's pumpkin e-liquid than attempt to be like, do you guys want to buy some of my t-shirts or anything? Because we have them on sale. GrimGreenMerch.com. You can, but you can buy them. GrimGreenMerch.com. Use I Love Vlog Day. 20% off. 20% off your order of $30 or more, which is what? Like a hoodie? Like a hoodie? I mean, we have Grim Green branded tissue paper in these orders, you guys. This is this is good. You nailed I nailed it? All right. Thanks. Thanks, Pickle. Look at this. Asvape. Asvape has been doing weird and wacky graphics on their devices for a really long time. This is the Gabriel. I really used to like this thing. Dual 18650 Gabriel. Look at those graphics. It's not surprising that they did, you know, what they did with that Hida Ink, because this is basically the Hida Ink in dual 18650 mode. That's a banger. Uh, there's a squid, black double barrel. I, I just seem to collect these. I have so many squid double barrels. Uh, I got an Evic Mini. Nothing really super exciting there. Evic Mini was a good one. You know, this was this was a good one. This was a good single 18650. In fact, I'm a little bit sentimental about this because I took this tank with me on a trip to San Francisco with my lovely wife. I'm going to save that for a second. Uh, sure, cool fire. Yeah, I don't know. Inakin Cool Fire. That's an that's a bit of an old school mod. Did anybody have an Inakin Cool Fire back in the day? Now this thing, this is a thing that I liked, but didn't work very well from what I remember. It was a dual 18650. Yeah, this came from Hot Sig. The R150. So 
This was Hot Sigs, China's attempt at doing something sort of Hemo-ish. It's got these like abalone doors that are actually pretty cool looking. And it's like hyper engraved all over the back of it. Dual 18650, 510. There's your button. There's your fires. This just screams 2016 to me. This is just a 2016 mod. Those abalone shells on there, that's what everybody thought was high end. Everybody, I have another, yet another Hammond box <laughs> that I cannot get the door off of. What the hell? Yeah, there it is. Nuv mods, N-U-V-E mods. They had uh, 3D printing on the inside and it was just this. It was a Hammond box that was branded Nuv mods, horn switch. It's like a, it's like a Grim Army on the back. It's it's real hexomy, you know? It's real titany, real hexomy potentiometer on the bottom. That's old school. This is my drag, but this is my first drag. This is the original Vupu drag. Yeah, that's an OG carbon fiber Vupu drag that I just keep because why not keep it? Holy shit. Wow, there's some interesting stuff in here. This is a Lost Vape Therion. This had the like, you know, sort of, you know, bumpy ball sack sort of texture going there on that leather cutout right there. Dual 18650 DNA. DNA. Shit, DNA 200 I think was in this. DNA 200, this just comes off. That's your door right there. DNA something in there. Lost Vape Theory on. This, oh, Vape Wild. That's right, Vape Wild did this. Oh, poor Vape Wild's out of business. Should I even bother showing off the mod they sent me? Acrylic doors, rainbow, aluminum, large clicky fire button, dual 18650, box mod. How many dual 18650 box mods? We're going to count how many dual 18650 box mods are in this box because it was excessive back in the day. This is a 21700 or a 26650. Yeah, this was. This was one of the coolest mods I've ever experienced, but it was a 26650 and it was terrible. I want to steal this design and do it's like a C frame gold this is gold metal finish on there 20 20 uh, 6, 6, 50, 510 clicky button display buttons this was from cloud kicker society cks released this ntrs i could steal that design i could steal that design no problem but it's not a dual 18650 holy shit holy shit Wow, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this right now. This has an internal battery and I don't remember where it came from and I'm trying to find an RDA or an RTA to put on here. Let's take this type two off of here real quick. Let's put it on here because that is pretty slick. I don't know where this came from. DF60, does anybody remember the DF60? internal lipo display right there and it had the fire button on the top like this like a trigger right here new let's turn this down now let's turn this up let's turn this up to like eh, you know 50 60 watts something like that i'm just going to stop it when it gets too out of here out of hand 55.5 watts real clicky button right there too The DF60 carbon fiber sticker, internal battery, USB micro right there, and a clicky fire button up there. That's fucking cool. Sifu Mustache, you made it. Hell yeah. There's definitely going to, I'm going to leave this out. Should I leave this out? Is that a dumb move? I just, I, I've been craving using all of these like side-by-side -side sidecar mods, like the mix and the college, I want a trigger on the top. I want the fire button up here and this gives it to me. I 
And that's a baller move. And I'm keeping that. I got my Christmas arc. I, I, t I take this out every Christmas. This is one that I was looking for. And I put a green RDA on top with the peppermint DHD drip tip. And this is like my Christmas themed USV arc. That's cool. That is super cool. Steve Thompson says, leave it out. And I'm going to agree with Steve Thompson. I have no choice. I'm going to, I was going to, Steve, listen up, Steve. If I'm being real honest, I was going to leave that out anyway. <laughs> I was going to leave that out anyway. Okay, this, this is one of the most retro-y things that I ever have owned. In fact, this needs to live outside of the box. This needs to go on the shelf, and that's where I'm going to put it right now. This is a Rio Grande squonker, but back then we used to call them bottom feeders. Had this slidey magnetic door on here. Your 18650 went in, your bottle of juice went in. In fact, and it was fully, fully mechanical. Fully, fully mechanical switch right here. I have so many vivid memories of sitting outside at Starbucks at like four in the morning, freezing my ass off on my break at work with this device in my hand, like vaping it. This is an, believe it or not, this is an RDA on top. This is a rebuildable atomizer on here called the Dripper. Number 24, yeah, by Leo, the Dripper, the E-Baron. This was called the E-Baron Rebuildable Dripper from by Leo. Unfortunately, by Leo passed away not too, not too many years ago, just a few years ago. Oh, dang. So this is where a lot of this shit went. All right. Uh, and I got another Lost Vape Paranormal Dual 18650 product right here, this box mod. It's a lot like this one, but looks like, uh, well, it looks less like balls. It looks less like a testicle texture and more like a cool red carbon fiber texture on there. This is something I've been looking for and wanting to vape. Surik, when I was on good terms with Surik, they made these Surik X Dual 18650s, and uh, I loved them. I loved the crap out of these. Um, Surik kind of, well, okay, I don't want to, look, it's complicated, okay? This is a complicated subject. Surik approached me about doing Grim Green Surik boxes. And I said, let me try one of them and then I'll let you know. And so he made this one up for me and I vaped it and vaped it and vaped it. And when I went to Paris and, I, and we went to the French Vape Expo, I was vaping it and vaping it and vaping it. And I said, yeah, dude, I think I want to do these boxes. These are rad. And he's like, cool. So he made a fuck ton of them, sold them all over Europe. And then that was it. He just said, thanks for letting me use your name and logo to sell my box mods. And I'm also not going to pay you anything ever for these boxes, but you got one. And so I said, all right, no, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. You know, there's, there's, this is a lesson that I've learned in my time in the vape industry is that when people are like all cool and want to be your friends, chances are they just want something from you. This is a gigantic triple 18650 camo <laughs> mod. Look at the inside of this. Three, no, this was two, this was two 26650s. They could have not have made a worse decision than to make this with two 26650s in it. What a terrible battery. Um, there are some mechs in here. How are we doing on time? We're, we're already running late. I don't recognize this mech at all. Oh, this is a rogue. This is a rogue. J Mark. Rogue right there. It's going to be hard to see all these engravings the way that I'm holding it. But there's like crazy engravings all over it. It says rogue right there. Rogue makes good mechs. This is the Calibri. Holy shit. Yes. God, I used to love this. This is the Calibri single 18650 switch is right here. I used to rock this with a, a K-Fun on top, this tiny little Calibri. I used to really like that Calibri. All right, that's not important. This is a mech mod that is made out of stainless steel and cork. If anybody's interested uh, in seeing this, it is made out of cork. That is cork on the outside. Uh, 
Subiero mods, Subiero mods. I'm not really sure. Uh, you know, uh, this thing, the Joytech Evic, uh, loved this. This is one of my favorite box mods, literally of all time. I have a Segeli Chaos in here. There is another Unim. Why do I even keep stuff like this? Why do I even keep stuff like this? The Joytech Unimax. It's kind of like, I wish the button was on the bottom so it was more like a mech. It's kind of like a Soul Keeper-ish type of little battery guy. All right, it's whatever. Some of these are going back in here. This was a custom-made j -Bo. I don't think this was the DNA 250 version or the DNA version, but someone did this for me. They painted the whole back door of it with my Grim Green logo. And then they put hashtag Grim Green down the side of it. This was uh, triple eighteen six fifty. You know, it's that. Uh, what the hell was? What the hell even was this thing called? Relo, the Relo, the Relo, the Wismac. Remember Wismac, you guys? <laughs> Remember all those vape companies that used to exist? Wismac Relo. So that's a thing in here. Uh, a Defiant Designs. Oh no, sorry, wrong. Not Defiant Designs. This is Silver Wolf Customs. Quad 18650 box mod. Mechanical quad 18650 mechanical switch right here. Silver Wolf Customs. It had these huge engraving like grippy holes on the side that I never could like hold this thing comfortably. I always had to pinky underneath because you're pressing down on the switch. Silver Wolf Customs. This is called the Sith. V2. That's why I kept it right there. Sith V2. I don't know what category we can put that on. Uh, holy shit. Okay. Well, we're going to have to vape on that in a second. Uh, this is... Oh, this fucking thing. Yep. So, this is a pure silver mech mod. It's called the... Nef Nefos, the Nefos, the Nefos, the Nefos. This company was not around very long, but they made these high-end mech mods and their big claim to fame. And I only remember this because the guy, the rep that I was talking to at this vape show in Arizona would not stop talking about it and would not stop demonstrating to me the way that it works. And after the first time he did it, I went, oh, that's really cool. And then he did it again. And I was like, yeah, dude, I get it. And he just kept doing it. And I was like, oh, no shit. There's an O-ring that holds the bottom on. So the bottom is not threaded. It just sits on there with an O-ring. That's it. It's just an O-ring on the bottom, but it does hold intensely secure and it slides out like the fit and finish on it is flawless the fit and finish on it is flawlessly perfectly flawless all right well shit maybe i'll give this another try there was no way to adjust this in any way and it was a hybrid 510 so you had an extra long 510 pin you were running into issues with that uh Oh, happy holidays 2017, an MVP4 with snowflakes all over it. Maybe I'll keep this out for Christmas time. Uh, I got a, uh, yeah, this is a Asmodus minikin, one of the original minikins, purple with splatteriness all over it. These were pretty dope. I would be shocked if this thing actually works. I haven't found a minikin yet that is still functioning. IPV liver. Do you remember the IPV L I V R? And I used to call it the LP, the IPV liver. It's just a deck of cards. It's just a big box mod carbon fiber IPV from pioneer for you. And I used to actually really like this thing. Yeah. I, I remember actually really liking this thing. I remember that now. Let's see. That's in there. The cult mods. Anybody remember cult mods? They were, they were a brief uh, kind of flash in the pan there, but they did dual parallel unregulated box mods that had this sort of like awful chalkboard matte finish on them. And then, you know, the big pentagram, obviously, it says cult mods, super clicky switch. Add that to the list of dual 18650s. We're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. Dot mod, dot mod Petri from some, some year. 
Don't remember. An aluminium dot mod Petri. I always loved those switches. I always just loved the cutouts for the button. That was my favorite. This is a snow wolf with Han Solo and Carbonite on it. And I used to use the crap out of this. This was like my jam for so long. The little Han Solo and Carbonite snow wolf. How do you, how do I put you back in a box? Seriously. I know you're only a single 18650, but you, you, you still work. You still function. I still function. Two more things. This, holy crap, the Sig Go. And this had, I have to show you this. I have to show you this, dude. Steve Thompson, I have to show you this. <laughs> you know what I do sometimes? Sometimes when I'm streaming, I'll just look in the chat and the first name that I see I'll just pretend like I'm talking to that person, like that we've been having a conversation and then that person is just confused. Like Steve Thompson is right now is going, well, what, why, you, what, what, why? Why are you talking to me? Why did you tell me that? This, yes. Look at the display on this. This was my favorite display on any device. I wish it, uh, I don't know. I should start using this again. So this was Praxis. And this is going to be really hard to see. And my ISO is a little bit too high, but this was your battery level indicator. And then there was the resistance and your zero, zero resistance right there. And sometimes, yeah, it would flash the battery when there's no atomizer on there. Let's put an atomizer on here. Because why not? Because we're already running long. Who the effing cares? There's timestamps on the replay, you know. <laughs> there's timestamps on the replay. Let me see if this will even fire. Yep, okay, so resistance is a 0.27. And now you can see when, I, when I'm adjusting the wattage here, can you see the numbers flipping? All this was was like a clear sort of plastic casing on this product, on this device, and then it had lights behind it. And it was a really cool little display. I'm, I wanna use this again. 0.27, 66 watts. Still works. Sometimes when you would take really long drags on it, it would give you like encouragement, you know? It would be like, go, go, go. Or like it would flash Siggu, Siggu, Siggu. Or it would be like, master, master. Like it just gave you little, you know, like motivational inspiration. It's like vape a little bit longer next time and you'll get a, a different message on your screen. It still works, dude. Still works. Okay, here's the thing. Chris B, I saw your, saw your super chat. Han Solo will not go back in the box. Han Solo will not go back in the box, which means either Happy Holidays MVP has to go back in the box or my DF60 has to go back in the box because I can't keep three mods out of here. I cannot keep three full mods out of here. All right, let me get the batteries out here. So let's do a couple things real quick. I'm going to show you the last device that's in here because it is the most hilarious one. Single most hilarious one. Wismac at one time released the Relo RX... 300. Does anybody remember the Relo RX 300? Well, if you don't, let me refresh your memory because it was the giantest brick that has ever been a giant brick. This is this is another quad 18650. Quad 18650s in there. Wismec Relo, their own chip, the leather over the years of sitting in a box are all are all but peeled off. They're just hard and peeling off this monster. Quad 18650s, the RX 300. I used this over Christmas break one time. And the only reason I remember is because for Christmas break, we used to go out to Palm Springs, out to the desert, hang out with our friends. And then we would go to this deli, not a deli. It was like a delicatessen, like a, like a Jewish delicatessen that I can't remember the name of. Harvey's, Harry's, Her Harry's, 
something like that. Don't quite remember. And I took a picture of this sitting on the table. Where did my giant guy go? Yeah, I took a picture of this monster with a sub ohm tank sitting on the table. And it, as big as it looks right now, it's bigger. In real life, I can barely get my hand around this. Barely get my hand around this. It's thick. It's thick. And that represents the end. That represents the end of the box. Nope, I lied. Militia Mods did up a Grim Cult box. Sherman's. That's the place we go in Indio, Palm Springs. Sherman's. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. Just in this box. Eighteen. Dual 18650 devices. That's why when I see, I'm like, oh, it's a dual 18650 device? What? I've never, I've never used that before. Whoa. Wait, dual 18650s? That's, that's crazy, man. What? Are you kidding me? I haven't seen 18 of those in the last few months. <laughs> Someone's di wasp says vape that RX 300. Look, if you guys are cool with running long, then fucking a. I'll put four 18650s in here, and we'll vape it. What do I even put on it though? Here, I'll put if it goes up that high, I'll put my series build on it. I'll put my series build on it. Okay, let me. I'll leave this one on top. Let me at least put away all of the ones that are sitting here right now. Let me at least do that. You go in here. You go in here, you go in here, you go in here, you go in there, you stay over there, you go in here, you go in here, you guys, you guys all go in here. I have to leave you on the top because I'm going to use you during Christmas. Let me get my bubble wrap. There needs to be a layer in between these. Uh, you go in the box. Uh, you go in the box. That's right. You go in the box. 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 You'll go on top, and now we're going to vape the RX 300, because why not? Now, I think it was paired like this. Hang on. I'm going to keep these in pairs. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. Okay. Let's see if it turns on. Yep. Turned on. I got, the, I got a screen. I got all four full batteries. See, this isn't going to be that exciting. Exciting. Let's throw some Peach Among Worlds in here. I'm going to put a Recoil Rebel on top that is built to like a 0 .3 something for the... Uh, let's see. Let's... 40 watts. Oh, God, it's in temperature control. Uh, one, two, three. Nope. One, two, three. Okay. I have to get this back to wattage. Okay, wattage mode. Here we go. How high does this go? 169 watts. Should I try this at 169 watts? Just because I can. Should we do it? Don't tell me not to do something because I'll just do it. It doesn't even seem that crazy. It doesn't even seem that crazy. Come on, I could do 169 watts standing on my dick. I don't know why I said that. Where are all of my tools? Oh, that's right. Hi, let's put my tools as far away from me as I possibly can because I remember putting them over there because I remember thinking, I'm not going to need these during the vlog. <laughs> all right. You're all liquided up. Here we go. It's a recoil. It's 169 watts, 169, and feeling fine. There's a little bit of lag on this switch, dude. There's a little bit of lag. Holy shit. I don't remember this ever having lag on it. It like severely, severely ramps up. I press the button and nothing happens. And then it's like, here you go. 269. 269. Are you crazy? Uh, I can do, look, I'll do one, I'll do like 190, okay? That's as high as I'm going to go. 
This is the highest I'm going to go right now is 190 watts. MMC, you can get bent. I'm not... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, there's no way I'm doing 300 watts. It's just not going to happen. I might do one toot at 300 watts. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that was at 190 watts, and that was insane. All right, look, I'm feeling cocky, man. I feel like 200 at least. All right. I've never vaped at 200 watts. How about 205 watts? 205 watts. Come on, man up. You man up, Chunkmeister. That's what, although also Chunkmeister, that's like my least favorite saying of all time. I can't stand it. Two, I didn't mean to, to come down on you like that. I'll man up. Whoa, it dropped it down to 80 watts. Why does it, it won't let me run it this high. It literally will not let me run it this high and I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, so it's set. Can you see the screen? It's set to 219 watts. As soon as you see him focus, up here in the in the little half circle, and if I press the button, it drops it to 80. I can set in 219 watts, but it will only ever give me 80 watts. I, it's got to be a safety thing built in, right? 205.6. Gabe, Gabe Claus... Stop. I think that was at 219 watts. It just keeps dropping to 80. I wonder if it ramps up. Nope, doesn't even ramp up or anything. It keeps dropping to 80 watts. What a piece of junk, right? What a piece. No, the batteries are fully charged. I have full battery displays on here, and they're good batteries. There, I have two Sonys and two Galicis in here. Or uh, not Galicis, Moly Cells. Well, it certainly feels like 219 watts. That's where I'm leaving it. That's it. This atomizer is scorching hot right now. That tasted hotter than even my series builds. Like even on a stacked tube mech, that was hotter. I don't want to make that hot. Why'd you make me do that? I don't want to vape that hot. Okay, I'm going to put you back in the box. I'm going to put you in the back of the box. I'm going to close this. Now, ugh. here's what we're going to do for the rest of the stream. We are going to passively taste a liquid while simultaneously I don't know what was happening there. While simultaneously Tasting an e-liquid. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. We need to hydrate a little bit. I agree. The only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now, what did I tell you? Always be hydrated. Throw it down a hill. Throw it down a hill. Throw it down a hill. It could have been. Uh, yeah, it could have been wattage safety, something like that. Some vo some sort of voltage cutoff, caveman. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, here we go. Let's do some liquid tastings. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some. Let's do some liquid tastings. Let's do some uh, super chats. That's all you get of that. Let's do. See, I can never. I use a stream deck, and I hate it. That's all you get. Did I cut it off early? I didn't mean to, but I, I said that's all you get. So we're here now to do some super chats and liquid tasting. So the liquid that we have today is almost a complete mystery. Almost a complete mystery. I can make out some letters on here. It looks like it says drops of Jupiter. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Drops, drops of Jupiter. And it comes from, I cannot read it. Something vapor. Shocking, right? Something vapor. Uh, I cannot read this. Something vapor, drops of Jupiter, three milligram, 20% PG, 80% VG. That's all I can get from this. Drops of Jupiter from something vapor. I have a rye 1.2, all re-wicked, ready to go. Let me just give this a little bit of a knuckle test. This has been steeping for a while now. I got this in a vlog.
Pay, uh, peach. I'm getting a strong peach sensation from this. Strong peach sensation from this. Um, Rhett Falls, that's right. Ranger Man running long. Technically, yes, but so what? Julian, that's very gracious of you. Grim, I did a quick review on the bridged 1.2 if you want to check it out. I'm hoping to get a hold of your type 2 to do a video on that next. Julian, email me a link. I want to watch it. I want to watch your review because... Look, the only other person on YouTube doing like billet box stuff is Tony B. And look, I love Tony B, but I don't like I don't want to I don't want to watch a whole ton of his videos. Nothing against Tony B. He also started a new YouTube called The Picky Eater. You should go check it out because it's it's fucking hilarious. If you know Tony B, it's uh it's hilarious. So I'm going to uh, wet I'm gonna wet these coils. Chasing Clouds in favor of you says, uh, just order my type two. Woohoo! Enjoy it. God, I hope you guys enjoy this RTA. Barbara, happy Thanksgiving to you and the family. Love you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Barbara, and the family. Love you too. Uh, Scott Van Straten, just got my bridged 1.2 and BMM Smashbox 2.1, and the bridged is awesome. And if you ever have a chance to buy a Stashbox 2.1, it's basically a 21700 DNA 75C billet box. What? Yeah, Scott, I'm interested in that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'm going to look into that right now. The, the juggler, Joshua, Chris Pie 5. Chris Pi Five for you. Chris Grim, please don't put Han back in hibernation. I'm not. I left Han Solo out. I left Han Solo out. That is a solid 2015 device, and I remember using that device with some sort of tank. It could have been a K Fun on a road trip. I don't even remember where I was going, but I was driving in the car. Point two at 60 watts. Let me tell you, after the 200 watts of the Relo, you know, RX 300, uh, this 0.2 at 60 watts, it's like a kid's toy, you know? It's just dumb. Smells good. Peach. That's all I can get out of this drops of Jupiter right now is peach. All right, let me have an inaugural toot here. Looks like I was leaking all over the place. That's fantastic. I love that when that happens. It's my favorite. I love greasy liquid when it's just on your hands and all over the place and all over your mod. Let me have a, let me do a couple of these here. Let's open up the airflow all the way, shall we? That could be helpful in the long run. And I think it goes like this. Yes. Okay. Now we're on the trolley. Now let's have some vaps and answer some Super chats. That's going to need uh, way more wattage. Way more wattage. Uh, Chris, yeah, that's right. I'm, it's not going back. Vape that uh, wasp. I did. I vaped it. <laughs> RX 300. Was it everything you had hoped for, wasp? Was it? Did it satisfy you tonight? Ludicrous speed. Go. I haven't watched Spaceballs in a really long time. I want to watch that again. Let's turn this up to 79 watts. Okay, that seems a little bit more reasonable. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. It tastes like peach, strawberry, strawberry peach, something like that. Lean back vapes. Chuck those clouds and lean back. I will. Watch. I'll, I'll prove it, lean back vapes. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. This is the most confusing liquid of all time. I might have vapor tongue. Rhett Falls, got to eat dinner with the fam. Email me, yo, yo, one and all. I'll email you, Rhett. I will email you, bro. As far as this liquid goes, look, I know I don't have a lot of time to hang out and just uh, do nothing, but uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I need to taste this. I'll come back. We'll talk about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off my mic.
Okay, okay, okay. So what this comes down to is I have no idea. I have literally less than zero idea of what this is supposed to be. So I'm gonna try to search for drops of Jupiter liquid. Nope. That there's apparently a band named Drops of Jupiter and they have a song called Liquid. So that doesn't help me out literally at all. Vape liquid? Drops of Jupiter. Okay. Oh, this is a DIY jobber. Is this a DIY jobber? This says welcome to Jupiter Juice, but that's not it. Drops of Jupiter? Drops of Jupiter recipe. I'm assuming that that's what I have in here right now. Drops of Jupiter. Nope. That is not this. It could be this. No, it's not this. This is not Drops of Jupiter. I taste distinct fruits in this. And this, the Drops of Jupiter recipe I'm looking at right now says buttercream, butterscotch, caramel, cookie. Nope, honey, nope, vanilla, nope. That's not it. Maybe there's another Drops of Jupiter. Buttercream, butterscotch, caramel, cookie, honey, vanilla pudding. Nope. Is this Drops of Jupiter? Hang on. Let me try one more thing. Drops of Jupiter e-liquid? Uh, Drops of Jupiter smoke shop? Nope. Uh, uh, I can't find this. I can't find this at all. Drops of Jupiter came from somewhere. It looks like... Oh, wish I could read this label. I don't know where this came from. I don't know where Drops of Jupiter came from. It tastes like peaches a little bit. This is just going to be a mystery. Drops of Jupiter. Drops of Jupiter. You're, you're probably right, wife. This might be the longest vlog of all time, and it's because I'm stuck on droops, Drops of Jupiter, and I don't know what the fuck Drops of Jupiter is supposed to taste like. To me, it tastes like peach, fruits, marshmallow, something else going on in there. There's something weird in here like papaya or dragon fruit or something. All right, look, I'm going to agree with Chunkmeister and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to let it be what it is. It's just drops of Jupiter. I like it. It's, it's sweet and fruity. I can't pick out distinct anythings in it because maybe I've just been lying this whole time. I don't know. Ultimately, that's where we're landing is a big, fat, fucking, I don't know. Cheers. Mmm. Well, I have to finish this beer before the vlog ends. So here's what I'm going to say in closing. I'm going to say Water Malone. What? Why not? Because Water Malone. Okay, that's not what I'm going to say. What I'm going to say in closing is beer is good. Vapor is better and be excellent to each other. I got to finish this. I thought I was going to need two beers. Go Jets. All right, you guys. We are here. It has happened. Chat says, what does chat say? Peach. Peach black tea. Chat says peach black tea. Okay, chat, whatever you say. I definitely get peach. So because I'm getting peach, I'm going to go ahead and say the chat's right. This could be a peach black tea. Maybe it is a peach black tea. Okay, I don't have any peach. Black. I, I'm getting peach. I'm not necessarily getting black tea, but if that's what the chat says... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then I guess it is peach black tea. We're here. What you should say is yes to pizza for pickle. Oh, we're having pizza tonight. I'll have some pizza. I'll have some pizza. It's snozberries. See caveman. Now you're just messing with me. Now you're just messing with me. Casey, 
yes, my darling wife, light of my life, I do have to pee right now really, really bad. And I'm trying to wrap it up so that I can go pee, but then you keep, ch- <laughs> I'm just kidding. Literally, I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Let me, uh, whoo, this was a banger. Let me look around and see if there ain't nothing I forgot. Uh, Rhett's beard. I'm going to be getting with you. Thank you for the knife trade. Uh, the type two's out. You can go get it if it's behind a, a password still. The, the password's Grim Green. That's all. The password's Grim Green, capital G. Go get a type two. Just dive in there. I got pumpkins. I got uh, peach black tea, apparently. I got a fucking bridged. I got toonie coils. This is a good vlog. This was a real good vlog. So here's what I'm going to say in closing. Thank you guys. Seriously, so much for coming out. I love the vlog and I love that you love the vlog. And thank you for being here so that we can hang out and fellowship and have fun and just goof off and, you know, hopefully get some news and advocacy out there so that we can all be a little bit better informed. But here's what I'm going to say. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. It is, (laughs) it is a way to get off of deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. I know smokers that have quit accidentally. That's how easy it is to switch from smoking to vaping and greatly improve your life. So thank you for being here. Thank you for fighting the good fight. Now is the time, like always, when we fight harder than we ever have before. There's so much going on and we have to ensure the future of vaping in the United States of America and and across the world. And I realize that's a lot to ask, but I'm here with you. I'm here fighting with you. If you look next to yourself on Twitter in the trenches, I'm right there. I'm liking your tweets. I'm retweeting. We're putting science out there. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. And uh, here's what I'll say. As always, be excellent to each other. Whoops. Whoa, I put my computer to sleep real quick. That was horrifying. I almost ended the vlog prematurely. All right, my stream deck's not going to come back on because that's just dildos. Okay, now here it is. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching. Be excellent to each other. Peace out, you guys.